Welcome to the lecture on metric prefixes and conversions. This video is going to cover definition of metric prefixes. We're going to do one and two step conversions using the factor label method. And then at the end, we'll have two examples of US to metric conversions. So if you're taking notes, as you should be, this is the conversion table for metric units. We need to know how everything relates back to the base unit. So I would encourage you to pause this video and record this table into your notes so you can reference it while we're doing the examples. So let's look at this example, a one-step factor label method problem where we're going to convert 3.2 liters into milliliters. So we need to know what our factor is. How many liters is equal to how many milliliters? Here's what was given in the table. The prefix of milli, m, gives us the factor that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So that's the factor that we're going to use. We're, we're gonna use the process of taking our quantity over one and multiplying it by our factor. That's gonna allow us to cancel units then we'll multiply to get our final answer. So we have two potential setups here. We could take our quantity, 3.2 liters over one, and we can multiply it by one liter over 1,000 milliliters. Or we could take our quantity, 3.2 liters over one, and we could multiply it by 1,000 milliliters over liters. So we need to think about what is going to allow us to cancel. In the setup on the left, this is an inappropriate application of the factor or rate because we do not have the top bottom pair of liters. We can see that the unit of liters are both on the top. And so this will not allow us to cancel out liters. The appropriate application of the factor is 3.2 liters over one times 1000 milliliters over liters. That allows us to cancel out liters and leaves us with the units of milliliters only. So now we can go ahead and multiply. We'll get 3.2 times 1,000 milliliters over one times one. And the final answer is 3,200 milliliters. Let's try this again. Convert 112 centimeters to meters. So here we'd like to know how many centimeters is equivalent to meters. We look at what was given in our conversion table. Centi, C, means that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So the factor that we're gonna use is one meter equals 100 centimeters. Again, the process is quantity times factor, canceling units, followed by multiplication. So here are our two options, just like before. We could set this up in one of two ways. On the left, we have both centimeters on top. So this is an inappropriate setup because it won't allow us to cancel out the unit of centimeters. The correct setup is 112 centimeters over one times the uh, times the rate or factor of one meter over 100 centimeters. So here, when we have the top bottom pair of centimeters, we can cancel and we will have only meters remaining. Let's multiply straight across 112 times one meter over one by 100, and we'll get 112 meters over 100. Let's divide 112 by 100 and we'll end up with 1.12 meters. Here's an example where we're gonna to have to apply a conversion factor two times. We're gonna compute the number of milliliters in 72.8 deciliters. So our first, fact, our first factor is gonna go from deciliters into liters. Here, deca is given by DA, and it means one deciliter is equal to 10 liters. So our factor is one deciliter equaling 10 liters, and we can apply that in a fraction, deciliters over liters, or liters, liters over deciliters. Our second factor is gonna go from liters into milliliters. Milli M 
gives us the factor that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So our process here is very similar. We're gonna add an additional multiplication of a second factor. That's what's changed. So we have our quantity, 72.8 deciliters. I need deciliters on the bottom. So here I'm gonna set up my factor of 10 liters on top and one deciliter on the bottom. And this way I'm gonna have my deciliter, deciliters cancel. That was the application of the first factor. So now we're applying the second factor, 1000 milliliters over one liter. And again, having liters on the bottom allows us to cancel out liters and it leaves us with milliliters, which is exactly what we want. So I multiply straight across 72.8 times 10 times 1000 and the surviving units on top are milliliters. On the bottom, no units are left, which is good. <laughs> and we just have one times one times one. So we get 728,000 milliliters as our final answer. Here's another example using the two-step factor label method. Let's convert 98,500 milligrams to kilograms. Our first factor is gonna take us from milligrams into grams. From our table, we see that our factor is 1,000 milligrams equaling one gram. And our second factor is gonna go from grams to kilograms. From our table, we have 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. We're gonna apply the same process, quantity times factor one times factor two, cancel our units and multiply. Our quantity is 980, sorry. Our quantity is 98,500 milligrams over one. Apply the first factor. That's gonna allow us to cancel milligrams. So I'm gonna use the factor one gram per 1,000 milligrams. Again, making sure that I have top bottom pairs to cancel out milligrams, leaving us with just grams. So next I'll apply my second factor and that's gonna give us the cancellation of grams. So we need to make sure that grams is on the bottom in this case one kilogram per 1,000 grams. Let's multiply straight across 98,500 times one times one. Surviving units are kilograms. In the denominator, one times 1,000 times 1,000. So this is 98,500 divided by 1 million and the units are kilograms. In your calculator, take 98,500 divided by 1 million to get 0 0.985 kilograms. And this is our final answer.